Hello everyone, Techno Sleuth Craig Chamberlain here. This is the Sleuth Q&A series where you ask me questions and I try, I do, I try really hard to answer the questions to the best of my ability, which sometimes isn't adequate, but uh, I think I might be able to handle today's. Today's question is, why isn't Windows detecting my thumb or USB flash drive? This is actually a very straightforward reason. Uh, if you double click on my computer and you go to it, you'll see that uh, you may not see your drive show up in here. Uh, right now my Patriot drive is showing up, but uh, there's a number of reasons why it wouldn't. You'll either have the issue of it not actually being detected and installed, that's a different issue altogether, but uh, typically the plug and play works very good with it. It's just the drive letter may already be in use, that it was installed to originally and it didn't assign it the next drive letter so it just didn't assign one at all or windows reached the point where it doesn't assign drive letters anymore which seems to happen between f and g and after g it stops assigning drive letters so there's actually a very easy remedy to this just scroll down to your start menu and uh, click control panel go up to your administrative tools double click on computer management double click on disk management this will bring up your logical disk manager, and you're going to see your disk drives down here below. Your removable media will show up here if your plug and play installed correctly. What you'll need to do is you'll want to select the device, the thumb drive that you have, right click on it, select change drive letter and paths, click change, and then choose the drive letter you want. Make sure it doesn't match or isn't identical to another already existent drive letter, and then select OK. And then obviously this is really important, I've mentioned this in a video before. This just says do not reassign a drive letter on a system drive. So if this drive is your Windows operating system drive, you do not want to reassign the letter. Or if you've installed any applications on this drive, you do not want to change the drive letter because it can cause those programs to cease to function correctly. Just click yes, and there's the new drive letter. It's going to run the autoplay typically right after it does that. I usually just cancel, and then if I go to my computer, my drive letter is now N. Uh, thanks to you all for stopping by. Don't forget to uh, leave comments and uh, ratings. And also, don't forget to subscribe because, you know, it really boosts my self-esteem.